Hi, where are you two going in such a hurry? We keep running out of eggs. I'm still trying to show Marcy here how to color eggs for Easter Sunday. You're making a mistake. All this is a waste of time. The Easter Beagle will take care of it all. Really? Sure. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle brings eggs to all the little children. Sir, is this right? Perhaps we don't have to go through all the trouble of making colored eggs if this Easter Beagle is going to do it. Look, I'm having enough trouble without your fantastic stories. Come on, Marcy. Let's go get another dozen eggs. It's a waste of time. Hey, here's old Snoop. Hi, Snoop. We're going in to get some more eggs. Look, Marcy, here's old Snoopy. You don't mind if he joins us, do you? He's a cool kid. Old Snoop won't get in the way. Right, Snoop? kid really can dance, and he sure knows how to make a girl happy. He sure is a funny-looking kid, though. He has a very strange nose, doesn't he, sir? Well, Marcy, I'm really sorry. Here it is Easter morning, and we don't have any colored eggs. I'm the one who's sorry, sir. I guess I'm not much of a cook. I've seen this happen on holidays before. You look forward to being real happy, and then something happens that spoils it all. Sir, we eat them. We put a little salt on them and we eat them. <coughs> Tastes terrible, sir. <laughs> attention, attention. We will need another fearless volunteer. Boy, not me. I think I fit the description. I'll go up there and help my good friend Snoopy. Very good, my friend. If you will just step into the magic closet, we will amaze the audience. Watch carefully, please.
A piece of toast? A pretzel stick? Popcorn? What blockhead cooked all this? What kind of a Thanksgiving dinner is this? Where's the turkey, Chuck? Don't you know anything about Thanksgiving dinners? Where's the mashed potatoes? Where's the cranberry sauce? Where's the pumpkin pie? You were kind of rough on Charlie Brown, weren't you, sir? Rough? Look at this. Is this what you call a Thanksgiving Day dinner? Did we come across town for this? We we're supposed to be served a real Thanksgiving dinner. Now, wait a minute, sir. Did he invite you here to dinner? Or did you invite yourself and us, too? Gee, I never thought of it like that. Do you think I hurt old Chuck's feelings? I bet I hurt his feelings, huh? Golly, why can't I act right outside of a baseball game? Marcy, maybe you can go to old Chuck and patch things up for me. Maybe you can tell him how I really feel. Tell him that I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Marcy, you can do it. You go see him and tell him that I really like him and that the dinner is okay with me. Well, I don't know, but I'll try. I think maybe you should go to Chuck and tell him yourself. No, Marcy, I'll just ruin everything. You know I'm too brusque and rough. You go and speak for me. Well, okay. This is not unlike another famous Thanksgiving episode. Do you remember the story of John Alden? and Priscilla Mullins, and Captain Miles Standish? This isn't like that one at all. Don't feel bad, Chuck. Peppermint Patty didn't mean all those things she said. Actually, she really likes you. I don't feel bad for myself. I just feel bad because I ruined everyone's Thanksgiving. But Thanksgiving is more than eating, Chuck. You heard what Linus was saying out there. Those early pilgrims were thankful for what had happened to them. And we should be thankful, too. We should just be thankful for being together. I think that's what they mean by Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown. Psst, come here. See you later, Charles. Charles? He's all yours, Priscilla. Priscilla? Priscilla? Apologies accepted, Chuck, old boy. Sure. There's enough problems in the world already, Chuck, without these stupid misunderstandings. Let's not play lover's games, Chuck. I agree. You're holding my hand, Chuck. You sly dog. doing? I'm not doing anything, Marcy. I'm just going to sit here for the rest of my life with my old friend Snoopy. Don't do that, sir. Come down. Come down right now and go to school with me. Nope. I'm going to stay right here because old Snoop is the only one who understands me. Sir, please come down and let's go to school. If we hurry, we can still make it to second period. I hate second period. Besides, I've already told you, I'm going to sit here with Snoopy for the rest of my life. We're just going to sit here and beep each other on the nose. Beep. Sir, you're being very foolish. I'm losing my patience with you, sir. We have to go to school. Come down from there right now and let's go to school. Marcy, has anyone ever told you that when you're mad, you look just like Billie Jean King? Marcy, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you to get home, Chuck. Do you realize I miss school today? I've spent the whole day in your backyard trying to get Peppermint Patty to come down off Snoopy's house. See? She's been sitting up there all day. She wouldn't come down and go to school. But what can I do? Good answer, Chuck. Sir, please, let's not miss any more school. Forget it. I'm just going to sit here with my old friend Snoopy for the rest of my life. 
He's never had any education and he's done all right. Sir, if you don't come down, I'm going to drag you down. Hey, let go! Let go, Marcy! You're pulling the whole house down! Marcy! You're destroying Chuck's guest cottage! Marcy, let go! Marcy! Somebody stop her! She's gone insane! Marcy, let go! Let go! Somebody stop her! She's pulling the whole house down! Marcy, let go! Oh, no! Arr! Wow! All right, Marcy, I hope you're satisfied. You've destroyed Chuck's guest cottage. It's not a guest cottage, sir. It's a dog house. And Snoopy is not a funny-looking kid with a big nose. He's a beagle. When are you going to face up to reality? A beagle? Come on, sir. Let's go home. A beagle? I don't know how we'll explain missing school today, but I'll think of something. A beagle? We could say we had sore throats, but that would be lying. A beagle? Psychological problems. That's it. We'll tell them we had some psychological problems. A beagle? Anyway, sir, I've made special arrangements to be sure you get to school today. What arrangements? I'm having you helicoptered in. Are you crazy, Marcy? There's no such thing around here. Here he comes now, sir. Eagle?